everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm actually gonna do a two part video and I'm gonna combine them. I'm gonna show you guys um, what helped me a lot when I was having really bad dandruff. And actually, I still have a little bit, so but it is going away and I will explain to you guys what I'm using to help me out with my dandruff and with my dry hair because I did dye it, I did bleach it and went blonde, so this helps um, a lot as well for that and my second part of the video is actually going to be showing you guys how I cut my own bangs because um, I did used to cut my own bangs a lot and I would get a lot of compliments on it and people were actually surprised that I did it myself so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys uh, like see how I cut my own bangs um, after I shower and dry them out because it is recommended that when you cut your bangs short um, to do it when your bangs are dry because this way like when it's wet and you cut them once they're dry it lifts up a little bit so I don't want to cut too much off of it um, and anyways let's just proceed with this video because if you guys see me yawning or if I look super tired like you see my eyes are so small um, it's because it is one o'clock in the morning and I'm filming this because I said I would film it today and I need a sh today I need a shower or whatever so obviously I need to do my hair mask before I shower therefore I'm doing it at one o'clock in the morning and why didn't I do this sooner uh, it was because um, I drank a chai a dirty chai tea latte that I made myself at home and the concentrate actually comes with espresso in it already, but it tasted a little weak for me. So I added two additional shots of espresso and realized that was way too much caffeine, which is why I'm still awake at this time. And secondly, I stumped my pinky toe really, really bad on the bed. So yeah, I was on the floor for like 30 minutes to an hour just laying there because I couldn't get up and it looks a little swollen so I don't know we'll see how it looks tomorrow but let's continue with this video so to do my hair mask and I'm not I might not show you guys like the whole process of putting the entire mask on my hair because um that's gonna take a while but anyways so to do my hair mask I use pure coconut oil and I actually got the brand for from uh, Kroger and it looks something like this. So originally I had bought in uh, this coconut oil to cook because it is cooking coconut oil um, to make like healthy chicken, grilled chicken and things like that. But I got, it, once I got low on it and I uh, just I decided to pull it aside and use it as a hair mask because I started getting really bad dandruff. I bought this shampoo that like made my hair really dry like it I don't know I had a, like an allergic reaction to it that it dried out my my hair my scalp really bad and I started getting really bad dandruff right and then before curing my dandruff I decided hey I really want to go blonde and I'm tired of waiting and I've been wanting to do it let's do it that didn't help at all it made it worse I had like big chunks like this of dandruff on my scalp which I don't have any more things to this. So yeah, every time I re I do my roots again, I come home and I put this stuff almost every time before I shower because that it's not, it sucks living with that day to day. So if you do, if you do this more than usual, when you have dandruff, it helps a lot faster to, moisturize your scalp and it the itchiness starts going away so let's get started and yeah because I'm not using this for cooking anymore obviously I just stick my hands in there like this and I start applying it on the back of my hair I, I don't get like every single strand but I try to get a good chunk of my scalp in there moist all right so you kind of just and I always leave it in for at least 
10 minutes. You can leave it in a little longer if you want. Nothing's gonna happen, it's all natural. All right. So then you start bringing this down to continue with the process. Especially when I have really bad dandruff, I just tend to do my scalp, but I haven't done it in a while and my hair is like super dried out, so I'm going to do my entire hair. scalp as you put it on there. Pretty soon I'm going to have to buy another bucket because I'm running low. And if your hair is really dry and you have really bad dandruff, don't, don't worry about waking up the next day and your hair being dry and it looking super oily like you didn't shower. Trust me, the first time I did this, oh, it was so, my hair was so bad that when my hair dried out, it completely just absorbed all the coconut oil and it looked like I never put any on. It certainly did look a little healthier than it was before I put it on, that's for sure. That's how I know it's working. But it was just crazy to me because I put on oil in my hair before, like straight up oil, and it looked super greasy after drying. It's gross or whatever. But yeah, when your hair is super freaking dry like mine and you have really bad dandruff, don't worry about that. Cause trust me, you won't even be able to tell when your hair dries that you put oil in it. And it does help your dandruff a lot. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this all around my hair really quick and I'll be back. Alright, so I finished applying um, the oil to the rest of my hair. As you can see, it's like a little stale and very, very oily. So I applied it to the roots, massaged my um, scalp, and then I applied it uh, to the ends of my hair all throughout. And then now I always, since I don't want to get this oil everywhere else, I always have a shower cap that I cover my hair with. Leave it in for like um, 10 minutes. By the way, it sm it the smell isn't very pleasant either, but you kind of just have to put up with it. So I cover my entire hair just like this, and I leave it in for like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and shower and when it's time to cut my bangs, I will come back so we can do that together, okay? 
All right, I'm back everyone. Okay, so I had obviously showered and took off all the um, oil off my hair and I blow dried the section. I already split it apart, the section that I'm gonna cut for my bangs and I blow dried it so I can kind of see how I'm gonna cut it. But um, let me grab some toilet paper really quick. All right, so I'm gonna have some toilet paper here just for fallout of my hair and as you can see my one of my best friends dollars actually gave me this t-shirt it says i love to bone how funny is that so i saw it in my drawer and i said i'm just gonna put this on for now so essentially i you know obviously showered and and i put aside what i wanted to be my bangs and I grab my, um, please, if you're doing this at home, don't just grab any scissors. Please make sure you have um, styling scissors that cosmetologists usually use, hairstylists, to cut your hair. Because if not bad, things can happen. All right, so essentially what I do, I just kind of hold it down like this, and I cut. much I cut off and I think this is the perfect length the only thing is that this piece I cut it um, well it could work out I did cut it a little bit um, long so I'm gonna trim it I'm gonna go ahead and look at the mirror next to me because I don't wanna mess up. All right, so it was just a little trim that I needed to add so the, the length of it is on the side. So this is actually a perfect length for me because this way, um, the way I style it is I grab a round brush like this when I shower and style it and I put my hair like this and I blow dry it so that way it's curled so when it curls it goes up a little bit so I always cut mine uh, kind of long and I left a little long piece right here all right cool so I always cut mine a little bit longer for that reason and that way it um, I can style it to the side as well and then that is it that is the second part of my video today you know showing you guys how I cut my hair and right now it just it looks retarded because it's not styled so I'm gonna go ahead and wait till tomorrow to style it because it is now through no not three two o'clock in the morning my ass is tired and I'm not gonna style my hair right now so See, the rest of it is wet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this a little bit to the side and throw my hair away. And thank you for watching. Hope you guys liked this video of mine. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. And just, um, you know, keep watching my videos. I'm kind of like miscellaneous because I do uh, several things. You know, I do facials, uh, waxing, makeup. I'm soon going to learn eyelash extensions. And uh, my boyfriend bought me a Cricut Joy for Christmas. So I'm going to be doing projects on that. And I also do nails, which I need to do mine probably tomorrow. Um, and that's acrylic nails. So this is just, it's, I wouldn't say it's really like, beauty related it's mainly beauty related and skincare but this my um youtube uh site is more miscellaneous of my hobbies and um things i love to do all right so if you like my videos like i said go ahead and subscribe down below and i will see you on my next video thank you bye